Hi guys, this is Jackie from the Build It All team. In this session, we are going to create a webinar funnel. We're going to go grab the code in our webinar tool and we're going to add it to our Cheetah site and then we're going to run the whole exercise to see exactly how it works. Please remember that I have already done training, in-depth training, into each of the elements inside of the webinar tool and this is just a recap. So if you want to go watch those videos, you can just go to the knowledge base, type in webinar, and it will throw out all the different kinds of training that is available. So here I am on Cheetah. You will see that there's a few pages that I've already created as an example. Everybody's pages will be different. It depends on your own strategy, but I just need to show you how the webinar works and how you will be adding the content. The first one would be the registration page. This is the page where the person will opt in and register for the upcoming webinar. The next one is where they will be redirected to. This is the webinar confirmation page. And out of this page, they will be directed to the webinar room where, where the webinar will be taking place. Now, between all of this, you can send indoctrination content. You can add it on different pages. You can maybe have three indoctrination pages with three different videos or information while they are waiting to get to the webinar. But that is totally optional. You need to choose how you want to do that. I've just added so that you are aware of it. Then we've got the webinar checkout, which is linked to the webinar room, as well as a thank you page once they have checked out. So these are the basic pages. Now, if you wonder how to add it, I'm just going to go to the one cheetah uh, page. Here on the right hand side, if you scroll down, let me just go up again by panels and you scroll down to the very bottom, you will see we've got a webinar broadcast, confirmation, registration, indoctrination, and as well a replay. And you can use these templates and it looks kind of like this. And you can adjust and change it, change the background according to what your webinar will be about. Or you can just start from scratch. So that is the first thing. Then you need to go to Mailing Boss and go and create an email list. It's important to have an email list, otherwise you would not be able to send them indoctrination content or to capture their email addresses. So let's go straight to the webinar. We're just going to go to the evergreen and I'm going to click on the pencil because I've already created this before. We've given it a name. I'm not going to protect it with a password right now. I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm going to leave it at English. For content and schedule, I have chosen a Builder All Video Manager video and it's sitting right there. And I've chosen it to autoplay because this is going to be a evergreen webinar. So I've chosen auto autoplay. The URL to navigate after this video finish, where do they need to go to? Remember, this is the video that will be played in the webinar room, which means is after that video, where do you want them to go? In this case, it would be the checkout. You can see I've added the webinar checkout page right here. Now let's look at the schedule. I said I needed to be on the 11th of the 9th, and I'm going to change this now slightly to let's say 2.15 and I'm just going to leave it at duration one and I'm going to repeat it every one hour and then the text chat I've enabled I've made sure that my ghost users are there you can see there's all my ghost users and there is my messages and I'm going to display the chat before the event start and it's going to be on the left hand side now, obviously, you can have more chat options. You can do the open the moderation tool, but I'm not going to go in all of that because we've done that before. I've added a banner, which is going to be a buy button. Then the webinar room appearance, I've already adjusted as well. I've decided on an image. I'm not going to play a video. I'm just going to leave an image before the webinar starts. The email settings. I have got as test one, but that is wrong. So let's create a new reference. I'm just going to call it final. Timer, I'm going to leave at that. I'm going to leave it at subscribe. And the list is the one that I've created, which was, uh, let me just check. 
which one was that? Mm, it's not there. The email settings as require email on login. And I'm going to create a new reference. And I'm going to call it product webinar. I'm going to leave it at timeout zero. I'm going to leave it at subscribe. And I'm going to go choose the list that I've created, which was product webinar. And I'm going to hit create. And it shows me at the top that it's been created. And then the email appearance, this is correct. Let's reset to my local time zone. The date is correct. The tags is fine. Now to do the forms. We've already set up the form. It's going to be evergreen. That's just the name of my form. Then the URL to navigate after user subscription. So after they've subscribed for the webinar, where must it go to? It needs to go to the confirmation page, this specific page. Of course, they register, it goes to the confirm page. So let's go back. We've added that in. T the email capture, where must it be captured? We need to capture the emails in the product webinar list. We've got already the event and seats for the 9th of 12. We've got three seats. You can see I've added all the different ones there. I'm going to leave my styling at that. I'm going to leave all of that, subscribe a successful thing. All of that must be right there. And we're going to grab this code. We're going to copy it. Because this is now a form. So we're going to go to our registration page, webinar registration. We're going to go grab the URL. And we put it into the iframe right here. And I'm right clicking. And I'm going to embed the code and apply. And then our form is sitting right there. Let me just check again. Sorry, there we go, in the right place, embed document. And I'm just going to make it fit nicely. And you can see we've got our details there, and it's going to happen at 2.15. And we hit save. And that's fine. And now we're going to go back to the webinar. Because we need to get the embed code for the complete one, for the, for the webinar room. So we're going to grab it. We're going to go back to our cheetah. This is the webinar confirm. We don't go there. We want to go to the webinar room. We're going to go grab the iframe. Right click. Add it and apply. And we're going to stretch it because we want the whole room to be nicely covered. And we're going to hit save. And that's fine. And now what you need to do is, I'm just going to close the webinar now. Now we need to make sure that all these pages are linked. Obviously, this one is now already linked to your confirmation page. On the confirmation page, you just need to populate the information. And the next step would be to go to the webinar room. So you're going to click on the button, if that is where you want it to go, obviously. And I'm going to choose the page webinar. And I'm going to click select. And I'm going to hit save. And that's fine. Now you've got that set. So I'm going to go out of that one. And then you also need to make sure, let me just close that. You need to make sure that all your pages, just close that one as well, all of them are linked as it's supposed to be. The webinar button needs to link to the webinar checkout. And then obviously the super checkout that you've created here is going to be in your checkout page. And that will re be redirected to the thank you page once the purchase happens. So just need to make sure that all of that is in place. So let's go and grab the website page. 
and we're going to go through the motions. We're going to see we want to attend this specific one at the top. Typing in your name. Going to hit subscribe. Going to say OK. Now we will be redirected to that page that you've specified, like the confirmation page with all your information, extra video details, whatever you need to put on there. And the person will click next and they will be in your webinar room. Now let's see, obviously this webinar is not yet started. So we're going to type in our name and your email address and hit send and we'll see what it looks like. You can see it shows nine minutes. It hasn't started yet. So we have to wait nine minutes for this to go by. While we are waiting, I'm going to go back to the webinar because I want to show you something. Let's just quickly go to the webinar again. I've actually closed it. It is important to remember when you set up your webinar that you make sure that your email sequence here is correct. Just double, double make sure that this is correct because if this is not right, it's not going to be triggered the one after the other one. So I just had to tell you about that. So while we are waiting for this whole process to go through, where are we? I'm going to hit pause and I will come back when it's on a few seconds. It is now still eight minutes. I just need to show you quickly that the email has been triggered to come through. You will see here at the top, please confirm your subscription. And this will confirm the subscription on your email list when you subscribed to the webinar. So we are still waiting for the process to go through. But let's look at Mailing Boss So Long. This is our list. I'm just going to refresh it. And you will note it sits right there. And you will see that it has been confirmed. So that means it is ready for you to start sending indoctrination content. So let's still wait for this one. All right, guys, you can see the seconds is turning off. And now the webinar will start automatically. Now it will redirect to the page and you also have the option to buy and now you can see here is the super checkout sitting right there so you can buy go to checkout or you can press the buy button right here at the bottom now actually it's not supposed to have come this way I was supposed to link this to the page link I've actually embedded it instead of using the URL but that's not too major but that is exactly how it works and now obviously they will check out and once they've checked out they're going to land on the thank you page and that is how it works guys i hope that this was helpful and that you're going to create wonderful webinars and uh, i will see you again hope you're having an awesome day bye